Yeah, alright, so there we go. We got a can opener. Why he had that, I don't know. The patent application, which you can look at. Oh, that looks simple enough. Croutons, croutons. Vinegar, lettuce, oil. <laughs> That's why the croutons and gold. It's the battery plants I'm supposed to give to that Red Edison dude. All right. <clears throat> Grody. Grody. <laughs> yeah, this was made in the 90s. Huh. This door appears to be locked. Huh. This door appears to be locked. All right, so then I can use this for that. And then we have the kumquat tree, which we look at. Mmm, kumquats. Mmm. Meanwhile, st Founding fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. Alright, so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to go on with this game here. I'm just gonna try to uh, take things as they come. Hey, I, I know that guy. If you think I'm something to look at now, just wait. Hi there, mister. Franklin, Ben Franklin, soon to be known as the inventor of electricity. Uh, do you know Red Edison? He's a scientist guy, too. Red Edison? A scientist? He's just an innkeeper who pretends to be a scientist, and he's not very good at doing either one. I can't believe Washington and Jefferson picked his inn, of all places, to write our Constitution. Oh, okay, here we go. Shouldn't you say, the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Ha! Huh. I, Ben Franklin, I'm going to summon power from the sky by sheer force of genius. Hmm. I could use a little power myself for my time machine. There will be power enough for all in time. There aren't any time machines yet anyway. <laughs> That's next summer's project. Oh my. You are truly whacked, Ben. Huh? <laughs> That's what they said about the man who invented bifocals. You, you Wasn't are. that you? Good point. <laughs> yes, they were right. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what Red would say about that. Who cares about that crackpot? Hmm. So, where's this red guy at? Down in his secret lab, of course, neglecting his guests. I need red to help me save humanity. So he's a missionary now, eh? Well, why not? Can't be any worse at that than he is at inventing. Okay. What's so bad about red? What can you say about a guy who spent the last four years perfecting a left-handed hammer? He's insane! And he steals other people's inventions, too, before they can even apply for the patent! Not that I'm bitter. Hmm. Aren't you the hundred dollar guy? Hmm, the hundred dollar guy. Not bad. Well, see ya. Carry on. Okay. And I think that's about as far as I can go. So, well, uh, we're at it. Um, this is uh, probably the first thing you need to do in... Okay, yuck. Uh, I think it looks a little run down. It's totally covered with crud. Crud, man, wow. All right. And here we are in the past. Hello, mailbox. Uh, open the mailbox. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Huh. Open the door. And there's his under his butt crack. In we go. Oh God. Cool, the room clerk's a mummy. Huh. That would not be respectful. 
Indeed not. Besides, I might get caught. <laughs> um, that would not be respectful. Besides, I might get caught. All right, so... Um, let's open up the door here. Don't. <laughs> Do's. Let's take a look at the bulletin board. So there's our buddy Red right there. It's covered with plans and junk. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. Hey. What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Hmm. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. Wow. Very topical for the 90s. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. Hmm. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. There must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. Hmm. What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. A paper clip? What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. Huh. All right. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's uh, grab this lab coat. Hey, only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, hold on. Um, if we switch to Bernard. Um. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. She's caught on her panties. Weird. Alright, Bernard! Got the health on its sign. And with toilet. Okay, I flushed it. And let's see, what else does he need? Um. Alright, Hoagie! Let's uh, let's give here patent application. Hmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Hmm. All right. Looks like that just auto saved, but we'll save a little bit later here. So. Let's, um, we'll, we'll do that later, because there's, I'm sure there's some other stuff that we can do with that. Oh, God. Um, let's go to the swinging door here. Here's some oil. We'll need that. We've got a water pump. Alright. There's a bucket. We'll take the bucket. Uh, oh yeah, oh, we need that. Okay, so let's get the brush. Uh, let's see, looks like that's everything in here. Take the spaghetti. 
Um, we need that for the future. Okay, so maybe I lied. I'm I'm just like remembering a whole bunch of stuff. Bitch. <laughs> Very nineties. Um, I'm remembering a whole bunch of stuff, so I. Um... I mean, like I said, I, I used to play this game, like, all the time, so... This is, uh... Pretty memorable game for me. Yo. Hello? Hey! What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. Hmm. He's going to give the log to starving children? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. Hmm. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. <laughs> you have like a childhood complex. All right. The, the, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go crazy over guys with a big signature. Ah, well. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. Hmm. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a, 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 a writing the. We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft. You'll only make me colder. Wimp. <laughs> All right. So why don't you have some hot coffee? Oh, I can't stand coffee. It makes me irritable and want to bang my head against the walls. Hmm. Whoa, I can relate. <laughs> well, please don't do it around here. Hmm. Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any um, amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any br brilliant ideas? Hmm. No music in elevators. No music in what? Well, I gotta go, dude. <laughs> Alright, so let's put the... I guess I don't have that. So there's uh, Jefferson. There's Washington. Let's see here. Constitution in progress. There's the log. There's the time capsule. I know what to put in the time capsule, but I don't have it yet. We'll go to those things later. Let's check upstairs. <clears throat> Open the door. George sleeps here. Whoa, what the? Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Hmm. Um. What does that do? Hey, it's Max from Sam and Max. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hmm. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Ah, uh, that's funny. <laughs> How about a skull with, like, scorpions in its mouth? Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Cool. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Mmm, boy. All right. Okay, there's a wine bottle. I'm gonna need that. Open the drawer. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Hmm. All right. I don't understand that technical stuff. OK. 
Okay. Hey, what's that on the plan? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. <laughs> All right. So we'll go upstairs. That is a horse. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi yourself. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. Hmm. <laughs> Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Nice teeth. Thanks. <laughs> I paid quite a bit for them. All right. Um. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? Hmm. I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Well, I gotta go. See you later. Hmm.